Hi, and welcome to 8 Adventures Whitewater Rafting Safety Video Talk. Today we're going to let you know all the things that you should and shouldn't do in the river. First of all, you're going to need to learn how to swim. We have two distinct styles to swim. Offensive, freestyle, just like you would in a pool, but I want your head up so that you can see obstacles coming or a throw rub coming over. And defensive, you're going to roll over on your back, you've got your feet out downstream, and you're going to swim backstroke, either to the right side or to the left side of the river. How do you know which side of the river to swim to? If you see trees or bamboo on the side, pick the other side, you'll have a much better chance. And if you're still in doubt, pick the left side of the river as that's where most of our safety team is located in the difficult rapid section. What I don't want to see you guys do today is to stand up in the river. You might find a rock that looks like this thwart and your foot could get stuck under it. This is called a foot entrapment. In 30 years of doing this, I've never had it happen to myself. Simply swim until your hand can touch the ground. When your hand can touch the ground, you can stand up. Simple as that. If for some reason you are lodged and stuck there, wait until our safety teams are able to get in place to help you. If your head happens to be below water, bring your hands around your helmet to create a pocket of air and help you to breathe while we get in position. Today in several points we'll have safety set up. One of the tools that they will use is a throw rope. It's a bag like this that inside is a bunch of rope. How they use it is if you are swimming, they might throw it to you. What you'll hear is a loud rope, rope, or a whistle. As the bag comes out, if you happen to catch the bag, I want you to drop the bag and hold onto the rope. As they pull you in, you can go like this, and it works but there's lots of water on your face and your kneecaps are exposed to the bottom of the river. It's not as much fun as if you roll over on your back and let them tow you in. This is the best way to go. What I don't want you to do is I want to make sure that it doesn't get wrapped around your legs or your arm in any way whatsoever. If it gets wrapped around your hand, it can break your hand. Next, we're going to have a bunch of commands. First of all, when you sit in the boat, if I'm going to sit on the right hand side, right foot forward, left foot back, wedged into the side, this allows you to lean way out. It's very helpful. Come on, Pisak, right up here. Let me see, left foot forward, right foot back, Jafu, right foot forward, left foot back. Most of the people that go swimming fall out on their own because their legs are not locked in. All right, both of you guys lean out. Show us how you can lean out. Excellent. Come on back in. Well locked in. Next, your paddle needs to be between your legs in the upright position. This is how we're going to stay in the boat. Your arm is on the outside holding onto the rope. That way the paddle is locked in, it can't fly around. Also, if we hit a rock or something that pushes this up, it just goes up and it's not dangerous in any way. Sometimes what we see is that people leaving their paddle in like this, it hits that rock and it flies over and hits their friend in the teeth. They don't smile anymore. It's much more fun if you do it this way. All right. Our next command is going to be get down. The key to this is to release your back foot nestling down in the center of the boat so that your knee and shin are up off of the bottom in case a rock comes hard through the floor. Get back and get down. What this does is this lowers the center of gravity and it allows the boat to shimmy around. It's a good safe position for the captain to be able to steer the boat and get back. All right, next we're gonna have over right and over left. For over right, 
Pesach's gonna dive with his right hand over here, switching, holding onto the rope with his left hand. What that allows for, is let's say there's a big rock that we're going in. All the water now can go underneath this boat and it's gonna float around smiling. But if Pesach come back for me, if he doesn't go over right, as the captain would have called, that tube's gonna go up with the rock. The water's gonna push this side down. You're gonna flip. You're gonna get to practice lesson number one, how to swimming. So, Jafu, over left, and get back, and over right, and get back, and get down, and get back. These are gonna be your main defensive maneuvers in the raft. Next, we have how you're gonna paddle. For a forward stroke, you're gonna reach up and forward, placing your hand on the T-grip. Go ahead and grab onto the paddle. Reach nice up and forward for me. Hold onto that, good. Hold onto the paddle for me. Excellent. And you have a nice A-frame right in here, okay? This is a good, strong stroke. You see that piece, sock? All the way up and forward. This is gonna make you go somewhere. And forward, one, two, and stop. Notice the hands down, hand over the top. This is a good stable position. Next, we have backstrokes. For backstrokes, you're gonna put in just behind you, and you're gonna take them out just in front of where your feet are. Back, one, two, and stop, forward, one, two, and stop. Now, they might get tricky with you a little bit and give you a combination stroke, and we're gonna say forward right, backward left. So, forward right, backward left, forward right, backward left, and stop. And we're gonna go forward left, backward right, forward left, backward right. This will help the captain to spin the boat quite quickly and stop, get down, get back, get down, get back, hit the disco. That's how it's gonna be done. Sometimes we flip this boat over. If you happen to pop up and your head is bouncing on one of the thwarts, just slide over, you can breathe, reach out and come outside. All right, now we're gonna say that Mr. Pesach has fallen out. Jafu is gonna reach with his T-grip over to Pesach and help to pull him back in. Grab a hold of his life jacket. One, two, three, and in the boat. Also, our safety team is in place in a couple of points on shore. If you have your paddle, you can reach out to them and pull yourself straight into them. During certain times of the year, primarily at high and medium water, we're gonna use a safety kayak that is gonna also be in the river to help you get to shore if you're swimming. If they come up to you, they're usually gonna give you the stern of the boat right here. This is gonna be the grab loop. Jafu is gonna be in there. He's gonna grab with one hand and he's gonna use his other hand to swim and kick his feet at the same time. This is gonna help a lot. Sometimes we may give you the bow of the boat. If we give you the bow of the boat, we're gonna push you, push you to shore this way. But what's most important is that you don't look straight at it. Move your head either to the right or to the left. That way if we, don't, if we catch a rock, it doesn't bust out all your pearly whites. If you're here, I can't paddle. So I need you to work your way either to the front or to the back. And I'll give you directions for it so that then I can paddle and get us to safety quickly. One of the things that's most important is that if I ask you to let go, I need you to let go. So in this case, I'm gonna say, Jafu, please let go. He's gonna let go. He's probably gonna go one way around the rock. I'm gonna go the other way and I'll pick you up right at the bottom. We have a grab loop right here. It looks like it would be a great thing to hang on to, but if you come up and grab this, what it's gonna do is it's gonna pop our skirt. All the water's gonna come in and then I'm just gonna get to swim with you. One more thing is that sometimes we'll flip over. If we flip over, 
just swim away from us just a bit. We'll roll ourselves right back upright and it'll be just fine. We'll get, continue the rescue. What I don't want you to do though, is if you get up and hold on to the top of this boat like this, all I'm gonna do is not get very much air underneath and I'll end up swimming with you again as well. When you arrive at the start point for your whitewater experience, you'll be given a life jacket and a helmet. Life jackets are UL and Coast Guard approved and helmets are CE approved. This is how you put them on. First, open up the sides adjustment straps on both sides. Next, make sure that the headrest is put into the back. Slide the jacket on, clipping the bottom buckle first. Next, start by tightening the bottom strap first and working your way up. For your helmet, the first thing you should do is move the plastic buckles on your chin strap towards your ears. Next, open the adjustment strap by turning the buckle to the left. Place the helmet on your head. Tighten the helmet by turning the buckle to the right, securing your helmet, and then buckling the strap underneath your chin. You want one finger space underneath there.